Wow, it's been a while since I've done this. What's up guys, it's your boy Official back here with another video and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some footage of part four of our camping trip from back in August. I know it's been, you know, like four months. I've been busy with my job. I've had videos done, but I haven't really got to finish them up fully. So you guys are gonna see some footage here of a place we went camping at. First cast. Was that a fish? Oh, it weeds. We just had a bite in the in the dried up pool. Let's see if he comes back. Yeah, I thought I saw the bobber swirling around and then it just went down. Let's see what mystery fish lie in this pool. But typically, like, I don't know if you guys can see all the way up there, but this river for the most part is bone dry. Oh, there's a fish. Oh. Had too much slack but yeah so this river's been bone dry and we haven't been able to figure out why i think it's been because of the green blue algae but i've never seen it like this before and usually every time we come here and get this spot it's so beautiful just a blue river little river running through here usually come out here catch tons of little rainbows and brooks and even in this pool there's some bigger fish i'm getting a bite right now but clearly there's still fish somehow alive even with this algae and it wasn't as bad as it was last year but it's still kind of sad if I had to guess, most of these fish in here are probably under a foot, but I'm sure there's big ones out there. Cast it out in the middle and I've been getting a ton of bites. I haven't really been able to pick these fish up so far, but uh, if this continues, I might have to downgrade hooks. But you know, whatever we can do to see what lives in here still. Oh, that was a fish. I had him. I mean, there's, there's so many fish in here. It's really, it's a lot, it's thriving a lot more than I expected but it's still, I'm sure, not what it was. And if you guys would have seen this place before, you would know that it's still sad, even though it's not completely dry. It just, it was a whole different kind of beauty before. Cast it out in that spot again, and almost instantly got a bite. So they're loaded out there in the middle, I know it. It's just hooking them is the hard part. You're either toying with it, or the hook's too big, or they're just not hungry. Oh, take that bobber down again, come on. It's getting hard to tell out in the middle if we were getting a bite, so I'm gonna throw it in the shallow area just to see if there's any fish that are hungry. Good thing about this place is it might not be overfished. Oh, there's a fish. Oh man, how did I miss him? I had to guess it was probably a small rainbow, but you never know. Whatever's biting it right now almost looks like it's not even big enough to take the bobber down. We'll give it a minute to chew on it. I've really never fished a dried up river before. I think last time I didn't even really fish it that much. I just took a couple casts and it was like green pools instead of this brownish reddish color and so it really wasn't really wasn't an optimum habitat for fish but now as you can see like they're jumping everywhere so that's an improvement but it's not again like i said it's not how it should be we're getting bites they just like they will not take it all the way and so either means they're small fish or they're finicky fish really i would think that if they live in a small pool like this they they wouldn't have room to be picky but i could be wrong come on just take it He's been bouncing it around. Oh, my hand slipped. I would have had him. Yeah, like you guys have no idea how hard it is to hook these fish. It's it's fun, but it's kind of a little thrill sitting here watching your bobber go under, but it's kind of tough work with these fish right now. My eyes kind of got tunnel vision from staring at it. I didn't really, after a while, even notice, so it was hard to set the hook. Pretty sure catching bluegills is easier than this. Oh, they take it down so fast. Oh, dude, that was all the way under. That was the first time that it happened. No. All right, so we finally got one of those fish. Looks like a little baby white fish is one of the culprits. Didn't even realize he was on it so small, but I think that's mostly what we're getting through here, and that's why it's hard to catch these fish. So I'm going to go down river, but smallest white fish I think I've ever caught. I also, trying to turn my camera on, just stepped in this disgusting water. So there he goes. Hopefully there's more stuff than that in here, but I don't know. I, okay, that did not go as far as I wanted to. This is like a continuation of earlier's part one, where we're just casting out there with bobbers and there's tons of little fish that are just like pecking at it. But we're seeing more life in this lake, which is actually the beginning of the river. So it really couldn't get much worse than that, I would think. I'm not getting any bites where I'm at. So one of my biggest fears has just been confirmed. We've been sitting here fishing and uh, we realized that the fish we've been catching are tui chubs, which are actually invasive to this lake. 
they completely took over this lake so they had to put fish traps and signs up to get rid of these fish and so uh, the fish we're seeing jumping everywhere are appear to be tui chub and they're all tiny so this is what they look like but we've been catching we've been hooking these guys everywhere so i think that might have made fishing this lake worse it might have ruined one of my favorite fishing lake and river areas oh and i'm getting one they're all really small too which is making more sense now but essentially if these really are to each other, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw them on the bank because it's illegal to put these back in the lake. So they're they're very harmful to the environment and stuff. It seemed like their numbers had gone way down in the last, I don't know, eight years, but it looks like they made a rebound and that's pretty unfortunate. Looks like I'm getting one, but it's hard to see my bobber. So really we've only caught like one, I think now, but oh dude, is it still under? Oh, it was still under. What the heck? What the, f how did? Yeah, that's, I don't know how that happened. Oh, come on, take it under, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, boy. No. I lost him. Bro, we're doing best by those reeds, though. Who's going to get we struck first? first. <laughs> Dude, I just got hit. Oh, are we both getting up? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we messed each other up. Oh, oh, oh dude. Did you Shit. see that? Oh, my gosh, nice going. Oh, I'm too shallow now. Hook and no bait. There's no way he doesn't take this. I'm gonna set the hook like I'm salmon fishing. Dude, this is kind of sad though. Like, these fish should not even be here. They set fish traps everywhere. I think they must have taken them out. Oh, come on. Oh, that's why I have nothing on. I figured setting the hook was. Oh, are you kidding me? I think we gotta stick it more. But what? <laughs> Did I lose something? I just saw something fly off. Oh, you're a worm. No, you no, have man. one. I think those are all Tui Chub. I'm pretty sure. Dude, he shit himself. Dude, that guy's fat, bro. <laughs> he Look shit at that. Himself. I'm literally getting one. Yeah, those are Tui Chubs. Why'd you throw them back? All right, no more saving any of them. Those are definitely Tui Chubs. Dude, look at this. Look at this guy. Bro, just drop the bobber. Or just make that bobber sink to the bottom of the lake. What the? How did that go sideways? Yeet. Had a fish and I just caught a rock. Check that out. Dude, yeah, that's my PB for today. Oh, damn. Catch and release. Let's go, rockfish. At least we know the native rockfish population is out dueling the Tui Chubs. Oh, dude, that was a fish, I'm pretty sure. What the fish doing? All right, they're dead. <laughs> Let's go. Are you kidding me? Dude, they're just popping it underwater. Oh you got another one? I guess. Dude, we're yeah. slaying the invasive fish out here, guys. You might want to go back to camp to clear this up first. I know that whitefish don't like sit here right here and jump like this. I should put an egg hook on one of these. That stinks so bad, that dead fish. You got another one. What is that, like your 12? Something like that. Dude, these are getting bigger. Invasive suckers. Oh, I barely hooked him. Yeah, that's, that's what a Tui Chub looks like right there. Invasive little bastards these things are actually stupid though like they go right in the water and they don't know how to get back out probably yeah because i'm getting a bite me thinks i seriously want to catch like a good rainbow or brook tomorrow though well, i'm getting one but your line's in the way keelan's caught like 57 and a half now Ow, something's biting me. <laughs> got him. <laughs> right as I said, he's in the juice hole. Like, oh, he's got my line too. Those are about the average or bigger to average right now. One of the biggest ones of the day. He's right there. Where'd he go? Oh, right there. Dude, look at this slender boy. <laughs> yep, not a white fish. Hang on, let me unhook this dude. Ugh. <laughs> Fly over there. Um, <laughs> I think he a little bit. Goodbye, Ricky. <laughs> I think I see worms in his stomach. <laughs> He's got to make sure. His head's still moving. We actually found a really, about where the river gets back to normal, there's these really nice areas that look like they should have fish in them. If this is the next episode or video or piece of footage or whichever, we just came from that spot that 
was by camp that had a ton of dried up areas of the river. And so it was sad. Hopefully here, now that there's water in here, there should be fish in here, I'm guessing, but it's, it's beautiful down here. This is what the river's supposed to look like. Just because there was no water at camp, we ended up packing up and leaving two days early. So this is gonna be my last fishing piece of the trip. So we're gonna hopefully try to catch a few fish here. I really don't care if they're small. I just wanna catch something. It's really hard to cast right here with all these logs and stuff, but I don't know how long I'm gonna be here. So I can't guarantee that this will even be a video or a long video, but what I'm gonna do is I have my water shoes on. I'm gonna walk up the river a ways. Looks like there's some deeper holes up there and some good pull off spots. We're gonna try to catch some fish and then maybe if we don't catch any up there, we're gonna go downstream. So see you guys in a few minutes. Deep pool right here. Looks like it's even better up there. But normally you come up here and there's loaded with fish in here, but with the algae, I really don't know how good fishing is. And this water is freezing. It is so cold. Oh, that was a bite. I'm pretty sure. I could sit and fish this all day, regardless if I'm catching anything or not. Algae's kind of making it hard. I do see deep pools, and usually, if you can cast there without casting in a tree like I just did, you can usually get fish out of these eddies. After a little ways walk, we finally found what looks like should be a good spot. And if not, it's probably because of the algae because normally areas like this would be loaded with all kinds of fish for all sizes. A nice fish on, looked like a rainbow, but there is fish in here after all. He was on there, I just like couldn't set the hook. I saw a couple decent fish in that hole. It looks like we're coming up on some good holes. So we're gonna see, but it's pretty deep out there. There's gotta be fish in there somewhere. Having algae would not on our lines would help. I thought about downsizing. I might still do that. It's because maybe I'd, maybe the fish want something small, small and easy, but we keep throwing this number six Panther Martin around and see what we can get or if we can get anything. Found a really good looking stretch here. Saw a head of a dead fish that looked pretty big. It's gotta be something in here willing to bite. I know there's a bunch of fish in here. I don't know what it, the deal is. And they could be after flies right now. That would make sense. Oh, well, I came from that way. There's actually a fork right here where the river must branch off. And it looks like that area is the big deep area. So we're probably gonna head up there after a couple minutes. This might have been the secret hole that used to be a really good spot that I'd actually found with my family. And uh, I think the last time we came back here, we didn't catch anything, but I think this is that spot. We used to pull like tons of brooks out of here. I might try throwing my Rapala. So this is probably gonna be the last spot that I'm gonna hit, unless I see a deeper spot within eye range, which I don't necessarily. So I better get back pretty soon, but it's been kind of a bust, unfortunately. Fishing's been kind of a bust 
here in Central Oregon, I think uh, largely due to the blue-green algae. It's like I know there's fish in here, I just don't know why they're really not that active. I'm gonna walk up a little ways and then call it. So these fish, like I said, are called tui chubs. They are absolutely destructive to the entire ecosystem wherever they are introduced. They're invasive fish. Uh, they weren't supposed to be there. They actually used to be there. We thought they had been wiped out and we weren't 100% sure that these were tui chubs. So we did release a few of them, but we also ended up killing a few of them, which it's actually illegal to put them back in the water. So technically we broke the law, but I'm not gonna talk about that too much because we did kill a few of them. So that is a good thing. However, it's sad that our favorite river and lake area one of my favorite areas was destroyed by these fish usually that area is blue you know clear water it has tons of rainbows tons of brook trout it is just a beautiful place great place to hang out grow up camp do activities and it's not that good anymore the last couple years because of the green algae has ruined it coupled with the tui chubs return i think that has just made it worse anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this four-part series of this camping adventure uh it really sucks that these invasive fish ruined our our trip a little bit and the algae however However, this was fun filming this video. I didn't get a lot of fish. My cousin caught a bunch of them and we did kill some of them and hopefully change the ecosystem a little bit. I know that there's millions of those things in there, but I think we did something good by killing those. So hopefully that lake gets back to how it's supposed to be. Hopefully fishing gets back to how it's supposed to be. And if you guys like this video, make sure to go down there, like, comment, and subscribe for more camping trip and fishing adventures. I still got a bunch more videos left in 2021 if I get them posted in time. So to those of you who have been supporting the channel thank you keep supporting the channel we're almost at 100 subs again we were at 100 subs but we've gone backwards a little bit probably because i haven't posted in a while which there's not much i can do about that so anyways keep staying tuned keep watching the videos i need the support otherwise i don't know how much longer i can really do this without support because like i said i work 50 plus hours a week so to those of you who are supporting the channel i thank you and appreciate it peace <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.